Hey YouTube, it's your man George Page coming to you live, live on YouTube. As you know, um, yesterday was Thanksgiving, and it was a day to be with family and loved ones. But um, this was a great day for the Harris family. As you know, um, Walt Harris is a UFC fighter who fights the heavyweight division in, in um, Ultimate Fighting Championships. And um, just re as you know, um, a few months passed that his uh, stepdaughter, Anaya Blanchard, was um, missing. Well, a few days ago, was, I think it was confirmed that Anaya's body was found somewhere um, in uh, Macon County, somewhere in Alabama. Uh, for it seemed like it that uh, Anaya was dead for a good while because they found remains, and by the recording report, the remains were identified as being hers. Anaya was 19 years old. She's 19 years old, smart, beautiful, loving. She's a daughter, a sister, a student. And at 19, she had so much to offer the world. She could have been more. She could have been a mother, a wife, a doctor, a lawyer. So much opportunity and, and potential, especially at 19. Well, Walt um, sent a message to his um, stepdaughter. And as you know, if you know, um, if she is my brother's uh, in combat sports, it's Coach Shane Harrison, um, HA223, um, and... Um, we have to watch her has been very strong and vigilant and keeping up on the story of um, Anaya Blanche's um, disappearance. As you know, she she just she went missing around about the uh, end of October, and this has been a full month since she's been missing. Many of us was hoping that we were playing and praying that she would be found, but she has been found, but not the way we want to be found. There are three suspects in her in her case, and um, right now I think you have two of them in custody. Um, <coughs> God knows what He's gonna intend for their for these men and their in their wicked ways, you know. But um, as I say, uh, Walt, I'm gonna message you, uh, Anaya. I'm gonna read it for you, my sweet baby girl. I just wanna thank you for helping me change my life for the better, for teaching me how to be a man and a better father, for being the, my biggest fan, win, lose, or draw, for always knowing what I say to put a smile on my face and left me up when I was down and wanted to give up. You light up my world in so many ways. This pain is unbearable. I know you want to be strong, but it's so hard, baby. It's so hard. I'm gonna find a way, I promise you I will. Right now nothing makes sense and I'm so lost. I just want you back. I hope I made you proud. I wanna keep going. Dad, daddy, just needs time. I love you so much. Look after us like you always did. We need you now more than ever. My little mighty, mighty, mighty Mike Tiger is an angel now. I love you, baby girl, and forever and ever. Walt Harris, my stepdaughter, are now blessed. This breaks my heart, it does. I mean, it's just, it's not fair how, I'm still about to think about it. How a piece of shit you know, somebody can just like just have some pieces of shit can walk around and breathe while good, beautiful people die, especially young. As you know, um, the other uh, night uh, I posted a video about Bruce Lee, and Bruce Lee was a beautiful, great person, and he died suddenly, especially when he was young. Is that old saying, the good died young? Well, and you know, it's not fair the good die young. You know, it's like a piece of shit like Donald Trump or, you know, um, mm, garbage like, uh, you know, Charles Manson. He lived almost 80 before he finally, his, his ass croaked. But it's sad when good people like Anaya Blanchard or, you know, Bruce Lee or, mm, you know, just, just people who just had good intentions and want to make the world better. Wow, people who make the world worse feel like I'm not, I should be political about this, but you know what? Sometimes it's just a set of example of why it's not fair for good people who could make this world better to die. But there's no, there's not enough justice in the world for what those guys did to her and why they did it. I mean, it's just not enough justice. I mean, I know Walt and you know and Anais, the father both want to take those, those um, two men and. I think it's supposed to be a female that was involved in this and put them in the middle of the octagon and just beat the crap out of them. 
I wouldn't fault Walt, but Walt, I want to tell you, brother, you still have your, your wife and your other two children to take care of. I think he had three kids together, him and his wife, and, and, and I was a, a big sister. You know, and it's hard because, you know, I lost my big brother and I also lost my big sister. You know, but they died of natural causes, you know. But um, for somebody to take somebody else's life, that's not it's just Murder is the most hideous, the hideous crime of all. It's one of the, I think, it's number one of the, of the ten deadly sins. So what, you know, whatever hell it's gonna get to is not enough. Not enough. Sorry. But to Naya, you know, I would say you, I believe in, you know, people. We don't go away completely. You know, they go to heaven. But I think maybe Naya came back, and she come back a better than you was before. I hope and I pray. Because this death is not the end. It's maybe just the beginning. Man, your page, like, subscribe. Don't like, subscribe. I'm out. And God bless you and God bless you.